seems like everybody wants electronic fuel injection on their muscle car, their street ride, their high rod. Nobody wants to go through the headaches and hassles. So last year or thereabouts, you guys came up with the Easy EFI concept? That's correct. And uh, tell me how this has been evolving. Well, the Easy EFI came out and it was actually a wild success. We had all kinds of interest in it and we figured what's the next place we need to go to? Where else do we need to go? There's a lot of people out there that have existing uh, fuel injection systems, a tuned port injection. You remember TPI from GM in the 80s yep. and the five liter Mustangs. There's piles and piles of those things in muscle cars and street rods and things like that. They needed a solution as well. So we, that's what we did. We answered that problem. We said, let's take a version of the Easy EFI and make it so it specifically works on tuned ports, five liters, or old, old existing EFI systems, multi-port EFI systems. And that's what we have today. We've got the, uh, the retrofit multi-port Easy EFI kit. Okay, so the need comes in because, say for example, you've got a, an 87 Mustang, right, with a, an EEC 450, or yeah, an EEC 450 yes. system. That's a pretty basic system that is kind of tricky to tune. It doesn't have wideband O2, right? It doesn't offer today's features. But you're telling me now you could upgrade to the Easy EFI brain, uh, an ECM, use the existing harness? No, this includes a new harness. Okay. A wiring harness from the 80s transplanted today is a bad idea because all that stuff is brittle, it breaks, wires are, are, are sure. you know, in, in poor form. So. All you need now is just take the, the tuned port hardware, the actual intake manifold itself, okay. or the five liter uh, hockey stick style in, intake, yep. and you throw away all the existing computer and harness, you gotcha. plug in this new harness, this new ECU, and it sets up and tunes on its own. Awesome. So if you're retrofitting this, there's no more burning chips, getting custom tunes, chasing any of that stuff down, dealing with old wiring harnesses. Plus, when you modify those engines, you don't have to worry about retuning or getting another chip or, or redoing it again because this is a self-tuning system. That is awesome. So now I don't have to screw with any of my hard parts. I just uh, change the sensors probably, maybe add that wideband O2, right, because this has that capability. This includes the O2 and it actually works with the existing GM sensors or the Ford sensors, or okay. you can retrofit in new, new fast sensors. And some of the other benefits of the EZFI, not only the learning, um, but you can do some data logging and that kind of stuff too? Or? The EZFI includes a real-time uh, scan tool. So while you don't need to use it, it is an optional add-on and you can look at all the live data in real time. You know what I'm gonna bet? Because I've been there, I'm gonna bet. For example, my combination, our 62 Ford, it's a, a, a Ford factory style EFI. It's a 351 Windsor motor. It's got a comp hydraulic roller cam in it. It's got the GT40X heads on it. It's got metal brock intake, but it's running a stock EEC 4 box with a piggyback type tuner. I'm gonna bet that if I yank that and put this on without changing anything else, my power and efficiency probably improve dramatically. I would pretty much guarantee it, yes. <laughs> and with the wideband feedback and the self-tuning control, it's gonna dial that tune in for exactly your combination and yeah. you're set to go. Yeah, it's like, it's like having a, a wizard genius tuner in a box. It absolutely is. It takes the tuner, the laptop, the dyno, and rolls it right into the box. Man. If only I could get back all the time I put into dialing this thing in, <laughs> that I would gain just by swapping that out. Very cool. What's the availability? This is in stock and shipping. You can have it right now. Right on. Almost makes me cry. Thanks. Thank you.